welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Takia. I'm assuming a lot of you guys are popping over from my CMOS five day mask experiment video. <laughs> and if you're not coming from that video, welcome to my channel. This video is going to be my recipe of the CMOS gel that I used for that video. Because I got so many comments and questions and concerns and <laughs> y'all try to roast, okay? Some of y'all try to roast. But because I got all of those comments, I'm gonna show you guys how I make the CMOS gel. So real quick, before we hop into this video, I wanna let you guys know that I am selling my camera that I film these videos on. This body isn't practical for me anymore. I'm gonna be traveling a lot coming up soon and this big body just can't come with me. So I'm selling my Canon EOS 70D. It is in amazing condition. I also am selling it if you want with a camera carrying case that looks like this. Yeah, it comes with the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. It's not just the body of the camera. So yeah, if you guys are interested in purchasing my baby, go ahead and check my Depop down in the description box. You can also message me on Instagram, Twitter, or even Facebook. But yeah, that's not why you guys are here. But if you're interested, hit me up. Let's hop into the video. I purchased my CMOS from Yaga Lifestyle and right now they are sold out of the gold Irish CMOS, but they still have the purple CMOS. So the difference in purple and gold is that the purple CMOS is not rinsed with fresh water after harvesting it um, and before it's dried in the sun. And also the purple CMOS has a higher iodine content. So I would still recommend you guys to try the purple CMOS. The link is down in the description box. And after the video started to get a lot of attention, Yaga actually reached out to me and gave me a 10% discount code for you guys. So not that I just did the whole little dance, but um, you guys can check out the code down in the description box as well. First of all, this is how much CMOS I have left. I am so thankful to myself that I got 16 ounces. You don't have to worry about the CMOS perishing when it's being shipped. This CMOS came from, comes from Jamaica, so you don't have to worry about that because it is not mixed with water. And the first thing you wanna do, because this is from the sea, is clean your moss. So there may be debris in there, you may see some moss that's a little bit discolored. Don't worry about that, but you wanna rinse it out. So what I do is I take the amount that I need and I put it in a strainer, the same kind of strainer, it's a mesh strainer, and it's the same one that you would use to rinse out your rice. So I use that to rinse out the moss, I move the moss around with my hand, I look for any pieces that seem like they're um, discolored or like there's maybe some dirt or gunk in there and I really make sure to clean it well. You don't wanna have your moss exposed to tap water really at all. Before I add the spring water to the moss, I actually sift through the rinsed moss and I cut out any pieces that just, I'm a very visual and aesthetic person, so if I see anything that looks like dirt or gunk or whatever, I just don't feel like I wanna consume that. So I cut pieces like that out. After I clean off my moss, then I go ahead and make sure all of that water is out of the moss. I transfer the moss to a large bowl, a very large ceramic bowl. You wanna make sure the moss is completely covered and submerged in the water. I just follow the instructions. I put the top on and I put that thing in the fridge and the instructions say to let it soak for eight to 10, eight to 12 or eight to 10 hours. I let it soak overnight so that, you know, I got a full night's rest and then I blended it the next day. So now leave your comments if you are familiar with sea moss and you do this often and if you've noticed differences in the amount of time that you soak the moss. And if you don't soak at all, if you just rinse, let me know. I would love to know what more experienced moss <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, consumers do because I am new to this, okay? So the first time that I prepared this, when I made that face mask video, I prepared all of my moss at once, I blended it all, and I stored it like that. That was my mistake the first time, one of my mistakes. So this time, I kept the cleaned and soaked moss in a separate container in the fridge, and I would just pull out moss and blend it with spring water whenever I needed more. So when I ran out of my gel, my moss lasted so long, you guys, and this is the way that I'm gonna do it moving forward. This made sure that I actually was able to get as much use as I can out of the amount of moss that I have, because like I said, I have used so much and I consume this every single day. Okay, so I've taken this sea moss that has been sitting in the fridge for a day or a little bit less than a day. Um, I just wasn't ready to blend it yet. And I've decided this time I'm not gonna blend the entire batch because last time it went bad quickly and I just cut some um, longer pieces and put it all into the blender. I'm gonna blend this up. Right, so I've added about two cups of spring water. I have a Ninja blender. It is a high powered, high voltage blender. I got it from Costco, okay, on sale, and it works very well. I use this thing every single day. So yeah, I love this blender. It is high powered. You wanna make sure that you use scissors to cut the very long strands of the moss because I've heard they can get wrapped around the blade. Put them in the blender. I added about two cups of fresh spring water to the blender. I blended that up and it made a very nice consistency. You can add less water. This amount makes it so that the gel can actually be smoother for my face mask and for my smoothies and for my salad dressings. Now I'm going to Further strain it, I did blend it way longer than I did the first time, so it looks like it's way smoother, but I'm going to strain it just because I don't like the little bits in my smoothies. And then also when I put it on my face, the bits kind of make it difficult to work with. And there's enough water in there for me to actually sift it through the strainer as opposed to it being super thick and gel-like to where I can't even get it through these little holes. So I'm gonna get every last drop. Just move this around and it down. Now at the very end, you should see something like this. I'm gonna continue to kind of wipe it around the strainer so that I can get as much of the gel. I just get like the, I'll call it sea moss pulp. <laughs> I let that stay in the strainer. And then you'll see as I'm taking the strainer off, there is such a very beautiful, nice consistency of my sea moss gel. It is looser here, but once you put it in the fridge, it solidifies just a little bit. This is for internal use, smoothies, salad dressings, um, if I would just want to take a spoonful one day, I'm feeling <laughs> frisky. Um, and then this is for external use, so my face. And then I might, I'll probably end up making another batch soon when I figure out how I want to actually use it in a hair mask or just in my hair. Yeah, that is how I make my sea moss, you guys. Again, I my bad for not putting it in that last video. Every single person that shared the video, I appreciate it. Please keep sharing that video with loved ones and anyone you think needs to really up their health game um, and their skincare game and hair care game. I hope this was detailed enough. Definitely make sure you guys check out the CMOS because it is life-changing. I do wanna make a separate video about the like the differences and the changes that I've noticed since consuming it every single day. So yeah, I do notice a huge difference in my bodily functions and how I'm feeling, how sharp and clear my mind is, how non-reactive I am to my emotions and to outward you know, things happening around me when I am consuming the CMOS every single day. You guys are definitely looking forward to me making a video about my eyebrow growth, eyebrow hair growth, because in that CMOS video, I mentioned 
that it seemed like my eyebrow hairs were coming in strong and they were lasting. So I am still gonna be making that video. I did actually have to take a break from consuming the CMOS every day because I was in Europe for almost three weeks. I was in Europe for, no, almost two and a half weeks. And unfortunately, I couldn't travel with my mask because there were no blenders out there in Europe and the Airbnbs we were staying in and I didn't wanna risk it. I didn't wanna risk not being able to get back into the States with my mask. Right when I got back, I made my next batch and I've been taking it for probably three weeks. I wanna say three weeks, so almost coming up on a month here. And once I finish out the full month of November with taking my mask every single day and doing periodic face masks, I am going to make that video for you guys. So yeah, that's the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share this as well with anyone that you share this face mask video with so they know how I prepare my mask. Hopefully this was helpful. Give it a thumbs up. Definitely make sure to share it. Leave me a comment and I'll see you guys in my next video.